Hello everybody and welcome back to the poor man's chemist. In this video we are going to be making arsenic 3 iodide out of elemental arsenic. Right here, focus. You can see it's covered with a black oxide layer. I'm going to use good old elemental iodine and toluene. Um, the way that this is done is basically exactly the same way as the antimony triiodide was done. Um, I already did a test run of it here, and you can see this um, deposit up here. That is the arsenic triiodide. I don't know how well it should... Oh, cool. Yeah, there you go. You can see I've got a lot more of it crystallized out in the bottom. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take basically an arbitrary amount of arsenic. I'm going to put it up in here. Um, I am going to add some iodine and then some toluene to it. Um, then I'm going to turn it on, let it stir vigorously. Um, that's what I did with the other one that I did. There's a little stir bar d down there at the bottom. And... Um, you know, by the way, and that idea would never have occurred to me until I watched Rodenide's video. And then it's like, how did I never think to do that? <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, we're going to put all that in here, turn on the stirring. I'll wrap this in foil to keep it warm. And then we're going to let it go for a little while, just until, I mean, it's probably not going to go to completion, but that's fine um, because once we've produced a decent amount of it we're gonna take it again just like the antimony 3 iodide we're gonna take it while it's still hot filter it as fast as we can and then um, we will have the actual purified crystalline product we'll rinse that and then I'm gonna try the same trick of drying it off with the heat gun on low um, after rinsing it with a little bit of cold chloroform. Now, according to the literature, antimony tri or, I'm sorry, arsenic triiodide is soluble in chloroform to some extent. So I don't know how well that trick is actually going to work out. But we're going to try that, or I don't know. If I come across something in the literature between now and then, we'll, we'll do something different. <laughs> but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up and then I will come back once it's going okay so there is our mixture of arsenic and iodine I'm gonna go ahead and add some toluene to this I'm gonna pray it stays focused I don't think it's going to be able to boil, but I don't want to deal with any issues. And based on the small batch I did of it, the experimental batch, I don't think that we need to worry about hydrolysis from atmospheric moisture. Again, this is so incredibly similar to how the antimony triiodide was done that if you know how to do one, you could probably do the other without any real difficulty. And just like before, we want to keep stirring very vigorous so that um, we can make sure that the metal doesn't get passivated as much as possible. And I'm just going to let this keep going now, and I will come back in a little while um, when I have something to report. Alright everyone, um, the reaction is, I mean it didn't go to completion, or maybe it did. Um, I maybe the, there's excess arsenic in it um, instead of excess iodine, which is fine. But um, what I'm going to do now is I am going to stop the stirring. I'm going to very quickly take this thing off of here. And I am going to go ahead and filter it to remove the excess arsenic and the stir bar. And hopefully any suspended arsenic triiodide will make its way through. Um, I imagine there's going to be a, at least some waste. See, that's probably going to wash it out with the glare of the sunlight there. It is pretty bright right now. Okay, why does this thing look like it's not focused? Seriously. Okay. 
All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Yep. Just like the antimony triiodide, it crystallizes rapidly. There's the inside of the filter there. You can see the unreacted arsenic in the bottom. This here is an absolute thing of beauty. Look at that. It's so nice and sparkly. Beautiful. Gorgeous. All right. Oh, let's see here. It is all over everything. <laughs> Cleaning this is going to be hella fucking fun. Ah, yuck. All right. Well, arsenic triiodide. Again, like antimony triiodide, hydrolyzes slowly in water um, at almost the exact same pace as it does for antimony triiodide. So, um, you know, it takes it a little bit after immersing it in water for stuff to start breaking down. Now, if you can see that here, yeah, you can still see it's on there, although it's starting to go away already. Uh, anyway, um, yes, all that water is going to have to go into a great big-ass waste jug, but oh well. Well, what I'm going to do now is cover this up and let it continue to crystallize, and when it's done, I will come back and we will move on to the next part. All right, everybody, so after the solution cooled down, um... I filtered off all of the arsenic triiodide and I pressed it dry. I was going to try drying it like I did the antimony triiodide, but on further thought, I decided to pass on that. Arsenic triiodide is pretty damn volatile and I couldn't get a, a clear reading on just how volatile it is, but um, I mean... I'm already a little concerned standing over this stuff as it is. Um, standing over this stuff while it's hot? Probably not. So, like I said, it's been pressed dry a few times. We're just going to go with this right here. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Comment, subscribe, share the video. And until the next one, y'all, I will see you later.